Chris Stevens DIY Auto Repair. All right, guys. So this is going to be an update or a part two to my original video that I put out a couple weeks ago titled Differential Service Dealership Trip. And I'll put a link to that up top so you guys can check out that video. But basically in the video, as you may or may not know, I stated problem solved. But unfortunately, problem is not solved. And wouldn't you know it, just my luck, as soon as I put that video out, the noise came right back. Literally, that same day, I had my video to uh, post around noon, and that evening, wouldn't you know it, of course, the noise would come back and make me a liar. Uh, this is going to be an update following that video. So if you guys are just tuning in, for the first time or if you guys are just or if you guys are new to my channel then welcome but we'll do a flashback and we'll go back to day one and explain to you guys what has transpired through this whole ordeal so basically a couple years ago the rear differential or the rear of the of my 2016 Dodge Charger SRT 392 started making this loud grinding rolling noise um, it's kinda hard to actually describe the noise but it's so easy to hear it like I, I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys but basically as we would accelerate from a stop or a turn you could hear this rolling thud slash grinding noise so uh, before the original warranty wore off on the car, the original factory warranty when we purchased it new, uh, I had my wife to take it to the dealership. I couldn't do it at the time. And basically the dealership we took it to said we cannot replicate the noise. However, if you have a trunk full of heavy items, that can cause, that can cause the noise. But I know for certain that wasn't the case because I would try it without nothing in the trunk of the car anyway so we got an extended warranty on the car and I finally took well let's go back I used the Stillman Thestoscope electronic Thestoscope to actually try to pinpoint where that noise is coming from and I'll put a link to that video up top so you guys could check that video out pretty cool diagnostic tool so unfortunately I heard a noise coming from where the driver side axle enters the differential so I knew somewhere in that differential um, it's making the noise so we go ahead and take it to the dealership to find out what they think it is or to, to see if um, the, the, our warranty would kick in and, and give us a new differential or whatever the case may be. So we went ahead and took it to the dealership. Fortunate for us, the, the technician was able to duplicate the noise. However, they went and looked at a TSB, which is Technical Service Bulletin, pulled that up, and it told them to do a differential service, which is basically they drain the differential of the old fluid and refill it with new fluid. And in my video that I was talking about prior, I stated I actually performed that myself when the dealership said, well, when the first dealership said that they cannot duplicate the noise. It did solve the problem for about two or three days. Then the noise came back. So whatever, I went ahead, went into the dealership. They did that. And they said, there you go. Make sure you drive it around. 100 to 150 miles to lubricate the gears so that's what we did we went on a long drive wasted a bunch of gas and money more money and the noise came right back it was good for a couple days 
uh, that ninth day that I, when I put out the video, the noise came back. So we called up the dealership, I think it was on a Thursday, and uh, talked to the service advisor that initially helped me. He said, okay, the technician's not, not in until Monday. Can you bring it in on Monday? Sure. So we had an appointment on Monday, took it in, and the, the service advisor told me he needed a couple days with it. Okay, how many days? He said two, sure. So that Tuesday afternoon, I still haven't heard anything. So I called it in, I called in, spoke to the technician, uh, not the technician, I spoke to the service advisor. He said, yeah, we've actually been going, uh, we actually, uh, the technician found the noise again, and they had to open up a star case. So a star case is basically an incident report. It's a report that takes it from the dealership level and escalates it up to the manufacturer level. Because according to that TSB, the manufacturer saying, if this problem happens, do this, it will solve the problem. Now, when that doesn't solve the problem, the dealership has to escalate it up to the manufacturer level. So the service advisor said, okay, well, we are going back and forth basically with the manufacturer on if we're going to put a new differential in it or not. So... That's from what I understood. It, it, it's very vague sometimes when they talk to you. So I wasn't surely understanding what was going on. I'm thinking the dealership wanted to put a new differential in it, but Chrysler, Dodge Jeep Ram didn't really want to do that just yet. So they were going over a bunch of deliberation. So, okay, cool. So we waited a couple more days. I think it was uh, maybe a Wednesday or a Thursday called back or actually no I call we called back Wednesday our service advisor wasn't there they said that they were still debating with um, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on what's gonna happen the manufacturer well which is Dodge or Chrysler however you want to see it so our advisor called us back Thursday morning and he said not enthusiastic about it he said that after deliberation, going back and forth with the manufacturer, it was decided that they were going to do another differential service on my vehicle and add an additive to that differential, to my differential. So, as you may or may not know, that particular vehicle has a limited slip differential in it, which, cause, which causes you to need a limited slip differential additive. Now I'm kind of confused because I don't know if they just didn't put this in the first time or if they did and they're just like you know what let's just try it again. So my service advisor was not happy with that answer. He's like well just we did this this is what they told us to do so if it if the noise comes back then just bring us the vehicle back. I said okay cool. So I picked up the vehicle, and as soon as I got the car and drove off, I heard the noise again. Slightly. I went ahead and took the car, because it was later in the day anyway, uh, on a Thursday. So I went ahead and took the car, and I went to drive it another 100, 150 miles. I was not told to do this, but I want to make sure when I take it back that they can't send me back saying, Oh, well, you haven't dr driven your 100 to 150 miles. So, as of this day, making this video, I have driven the car the 100, 150 miles, and the noise is still there. So, this, I'm filming this on a Friday. Excuse me, no. I'm filming this on a Saturday. So, I'm hoping Monday morning I could call or just take my vehicle in and see what the next step is. See what they want to do. So that's kind of an overview of where we're at, what's transpired to lead us up to the point of our video that we did a couple weeks ago. And this is just a follow-up video. Um, I know in that video I said that problem solved after nine days, but unfortunately the noise came back. And because it was so relevant, 
it, it came back right when I put the video out. I thought it's only fair to actually put out an update video or maybe a, a, what you consider a part two. Um, I know that the vehicle needs a new differential. Um, and it seemed like the dealership even knew that and wanted to do that. But of course, there's always steps and rules that you have to follow. And unfortunately, manufacturer just doesn't want to do that, which <laughs> the differential is expensive. So I don't know. We'll see, you guys. We'll see. Um, I'll make sure to keep you guys up to date on what happens next. We're going to take the vehicle in on uh, hopefully on Monday or not, if not Monday, Tuesday, and see what happens. Um, I'm hoping that they just put in a new diff and see how well the warranty works on that. That way I could do a video whether it's good or bad, whether you should get an extended warranty or whether you shouldn't. So I don't know. We'll see, guys. We'll see. But anyway, that's a little bit of an overview of what has transpired. Um, and the update on that video. Here is the letter or the work order that I received. I'll go ahead and put it up there so you guys could check it out. But basically, it's a comeback, so they didn't charge me anything. All they're doing is stating what they've already stated. So we have. Customer states noise coming from rear differential. Di uh, rear diff service was performed on 2822. Please check and advise. Cause upon inspection, found the rear diff making noise. Customer has returned for rear diff noise. Um, they put an axle lubricant in there. Uh, upon inspection, found the rear diff making noise and diff additive or added diff additive and test drive vehicle confirmed no more noise. Uh, Multi-point inspection and the tire pressure. So it's basically the same thing. I'll make sure to put this up there. As you can see, it didn't cost me anything because it was a comeback. So there you have it, guys. That's pretty much it. Um, I, I didn't get too much into this because it's pretty much the same as the first one. I went over the first one in my other video. Um, this is just just paper trail what the dealership has to do so there you have it guys so I'll make sure you to keep you guys up to date on what's what's next what's gonna happen next with this differential or this noise and what the dealership or manufacturer is gonna decide so hopefully this video helps hopefully my videos have been helping you guys if you guys are new to this channel welcome hopefully you stick around um for my new uh for my new viewers and for my old viewers thank you guys so much for the support make sure to hit that like button make sure to hit that bell notification so you guys can be notified when i put out another video and make sure guys to subscribe to my channel for more informational videos and diy projects so catch you guys on the next one